saw the defensive presence of Chris Dudley on his last shot there on the baseline. Well, Mason's competitive fire is such that he was quoted a little surprised. <laughs> right. Mason, by the way, last year, and as he goes one of two, it was career high from the free throw line at 74 percent. This is why the Knicks have the depth. One of the key reasons of having depth is Mason misfires on the free throw. There's a toe injury that was bothering him through a lot of last year. Played through it. And led the NBA for the second consecutive year in minutes played. Oh, about 20% um, of the crowd dressed in the Halloween garb. Yep. As Al mentioned at the top, the 359th consecutive sellout. Where it's easy to be a Bulls fan and Hornets as well. Mason one of two from the line. Ewing looking up at the big screen to try and catch the replay. Mason three of six from the line. Very close on that one. And Mason hits both. Mason who had a tremendous season last year. Mason one of two this time. So both teams over the limit. And some pretty poor free throw shooting. Obviously, Knicks, that is just that's disgraceful. But you see 36 free throw attempts, make it 37 off that one to 14. Knicks have only been to the line four times in the second half. Well, the Knicks have shot very well from the field tonight. And uh, that is that's what has helped them sustain the lead throughout this game. And Mason missing a pair. 